What is up my ducks and drakes? Welcome to the Crawdad Lake like, and today we're gonna be doing an unboxing of some new camera stuff that I got in my last video about Five Below. These were all from Five Below which are the Care Bear Light Up Belly Dancing figure things. They don't actually have an official title on their box and so I gotta make something up. But before we start that I did want to go over as not exactly promised, but briefly mentioned in the last video with these Funshine headphones. I want to try them out, see how well they work, see how comfortable they are, all that jazz, see how structured they seem. So if you want to be cute and have Care Bear headphones, then you'll be able to do that without worrying about wasting $5. Because I know I wasted $5 when I bought Squishmallow headphones a couple months ago because they were not that good, all things considered. So, they at least extend nicely. That does not feel good. Oh, they just bend in. Okay, I thought I broke them already. I would I would cry my eyes out. What are you doing? I don't know, what, what are you doing? Okay, so firstly, I'm gonna go over the box. You can no longer see the headphones inside because I just took them out, but we have fun shine. It has its one function of being headphones right on the front of the box. On the side we have the compatible, compatible devices. In the back is a picture of the headphones and once again what it's capable of doing which is producing sound. Uh, on this side we have its one function of producing sound. We're back to the front. Hooray! How easy was that? And so now the cord comes in this boxy thing, and so you have to string it out once you take off the tape. But they also made it freaking impossible, so I'm gonna use scissors. Hooray! I say hooray like freaking Blue Wing Bingo, because that is all we've been watching for a little bit. So this is what the cord initially comes like. You have to unravel it. There's this box thing. There's a hole, which I'm guessing is for a microphone, and then a button, I'm guessing for its pause and play. And that is it, this giant tube for that one button and a microphone. So I can only assume that it is a nice microphone or one would help. The cord comes in a twist tie. Yay. And this cord is pretty long actually. If I put this on my head, it goes down to at least sitting like my knees comfortably. Uh, the inner ear is up here. It has a little Care Bear ears. On the inside of both headphones is Funshine's belly badge. And on the outside, it's Funshine's face on either side. And so it feels kind of small. I'm guessing it's because it's children's headphones and I am not a child. I will pretend to be a child. Ooh, ew. Yeah, this is gross. So like, it fits my adult head without needing to extend just fine. I know one of them extended out of the box. Oh yeah. So like, it extends out, it extends in. It does that on both sides? Or is it just the one side or is it broken on this side? Okay, it also does it on this side, it's just being weird about it. Yeah, you can see the part where it goes back in, but it is weird. being stubborn. There we go. There it goes. So, smallest size, fits on my head just fine. This is uncomfortable as all get out, it is the tiniest speaker, so when it rests on your ears, see that gap. That gap is not good. Uh, my phone is buried by other Care Bear related you can products. Use mine. Do you have a headphone jack? No. Yeah, you have an iPhone product. That's what whoops I thought. Whoops a doodle. Not whoops a doodle. You chose an iPhone, which is, you know, the, the better option. But, but like, I whatever. also have Bluetooth headphones, so I don't have to really think about that. I also have Bluetooth headphones. I just like the Care Bear ones. <laughs> I just need to add Care Bear ears to my pre existing good headphones. And I'll be like, like, you could just stitch, you could probably sew like a little sleeve to go around your, uh... Yeah, I know a lot of people crochet like plant things, and so I'm gonna just do that. And what should I play? Uh, AJR's new album, uh, The Maybe Man is coming out November 10th. So I can't play that, that's not out yet. I could play one of their songs from the album that I have really familiarized so I could tell the sound quality compared to mine. You play the Care Bear Countdown, it's the law. I don't even know if they have it on Spotify, because I know that Care Bears has a Spotify, but they post like songs that they just release and are not from the cartoon at all on their Spotify, and it's just like... How not? Care Bear Countdown slaps. 
Okay, they have Kibber Countdown in here, but like the fake version and not the actual theme song from the show. Dang. It's like the one that shows up when you do Instagram music with like the s children making it sound like they've never heard a Care Bear in their lives. Mm -hmm. There's a Care Bear playlist. Um, most of it's not Care Bears and a lot of it is in Spanish. That is an entire Care Bear album that I no clue existed. Oh my... I'm gonna need to go through that later, but for now, we're just gonna click the, the, the intro. Or no, I'm gonna go and listen to an AJR song, because I could just compare it then. Uh, we are gonna go with one of their new things, Yes, I'm a Mess, that was just released within the last couple weeks. I'm gonna put it at medium volume to start off with. It's okay. How, can you hear the music from where you're sitting? A little bit, yeah. Okay, so like it's only up halfway and it sounds okay and my sister could hear it from across the room. Like she's not but even also, that far. I can hear the neighbors playing music because they decided to have a party the second you started filming. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. And probably you guys could hear the music from where I am. I probably shouldn't be playing copyrighted music, but you know what? It happens. This is what it sounds like turned all the way up. Definitely that is incredibly that. loud, but also they don't have any soundproofing whatsoever to keep that sound out. These are clearly made for children's ears, not mine, but also they should be comfortable and they should be able to block out some noise past the halfway mark. That first time around was just the volume being up halfway and they were like, nope, everyone is going to hear it as long as the room is slightly quiet, which is not ideal. They're cute. Not exactly functional. My hair is just sticking up. Okay. Um, if you want these for display or fill a collection, these are really cute. I'd say go for it. If you need actual headphones, I recommend... Like, if you need over-the-ear headphones, I just recommend not going to Five Below at all. All the cases I've seen, I've only gotten one good pair of over-the-ear headphones from them. But that was four years ago, and they no longer have that type of headphone. And it's pretty sad, but that's how our world is now. Now to get to the real meat and cheese of this video, which is these boys. So first thing, we're starting with Good Luck Bear. Uh, on the front of the box, it is Good Luck Bear being like, light up belly, my arms move up and down. Rawr. On the side here has the two functions. On the back, it displays the two functions. And on this side, it displays, you guessed it, the two functions of this toy. Uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing, not my unboxing, my, un my haul video from a week or two ago, depending on when I end up uploading all these, you'll know that my inspiration for going out to Five Below that day was watching an episode of Comfort Cartoons with the Nickelodeon late 90s to 2000s, all the way to the modern day, trying to get the biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collections, you know, person, Marcus, uh, he got this Care Bear in his Five Below haul and spoke directly to Care Bear collectors. He was like, if you collect Care Bears, this, this, and that. And I was just like, your subscriber base is 70,000 and has a whole bunch of Nickelodeon fans. I think I might be the only Care Bear collector in the audience, therefore you're speaking directly to me and I will claim that. And now I need to go out to Five Below and get these right now. And that is what happened, except not at the direct moment because I watched that video at 11.30 at night. Um, instruction manual, but a by the looks of Marcus's video, it came pre-installed with batteries. Uh, there's a couple clippies on the back, so we're gonna need to completely unbox this. No going back. Oh, that was just one clippy. That's weird. So before we hit any buttons, I'm gonna go over this thing. Uh, Marcus was right with this being cheaper plastic. I was not expecting it to be as cheap as it feels in my hands. But, you know, it's definitely not acrylic. It is plastic on the front. It's Good Luck's face and arms and belly badge. On the back, there's a lot of screws into the body and head, which Marcus also talked about. The battery pack is connected to the tail. And it has on and off. Okay, because when Marcus was in the video and it only stayed up for two seconds and went back down, I was like, oh, it might be on try me mode. And he might have forgotten to switch that. No, it is just an on and off switch. And it is on. So let's just look at that real quick. It's on on. I'm going to turn it off. And then back on. 
Does it come with batteries? Did Marcus put batteries in there? He might not have filmed it. Uh, spec specifications requires three AAA batteries not included. Ah. What one? We're not going to be able to try out any of these in this are, video. Yes, we are, because I got batteries. We got batteries. I got batteries. Heck yeah. I come prepared. Come prepared, even though I you live know. here and There's, you did not come here. They're either somewhere on the table or they're in the that top drawer over there. Okay, and after much, much searching for things... We finally have the batteries in it. Without further ado, we're gonna press the belly badge. The tummy symbol lights up, the arms go up. We're having a whole party over here. Uh, I know that in the video, the lights and the arms didn't stay on for long. That's how long it stays on for. So it's not an effective night light. It's not practical in any sort of sense, but if you ever have a shot where you're getting your entire collection in one shot or whatever, if you wanna quickly just there's only three of them, so you'll have time, especially if you have like a timer on the camera and then you hurry up and press them while the timer's coming down and then click. It seems to go on for about 10 seconds. Of course, I could go back and check it in editing, but somewhere between five and 10, I'm not good at counting. Uh, the button is also very satisfying to click. I'm gonna turn it off for now, but then just... Like that just feels very nice. Now the head itself, it does turn. So if you wanted to look in any sort of direction, you could go like 45 degrees left to 45 degrees right. Does not have like 360 rotation abilities. Uh, but when you press the button, the head does nothing. So if you want to looking straight forward, you do have to put it there yourself and then do it while it's on, I suppose. Make it do a little dance. Cause it's got its belly alight, which I can only imagine is them doing like the Care Bear stare or whatever. But I think they should make a version of this that's an actual nightlight where the belly badge just stays on. Or even like one of those dream pets, what's it called? Okay, so the creative pillow pet made a, like a dream bright pet. And it was a pillow pet with a light on its back that shone patterns on the ceiling. I had a unicorn one that was tie-dye rainbow and it was super cool and I loved it as a nightlight. I think they should make one of those, but like for a Care Bear. So like either just regular pillow pet, like how we have with the togetherness pillow pet, and then make it shine on the ceiling, or do something like this, but then like the only thing that lights up is like the engraving of the belly badge, and so it's like a bat symbol with the Care Bear belly badge. You can stay on for like 20, 30 minutes before it automatically shuts off. I know that the pillow pets with the lights in them had a 20 minute timer, and I had a really hard time falling asleep as a kid, so I remember going like through two or three of those cycles before actually falling asleep. Which is quite funny, actually. I promise it's hilarious. Now, I don't want to mess with the battery packs and the other two, so I don't even know if I should open them at all. Probably not. We opened Good Luck, and that's the one Marcus opened. I'd be okay with keeping these two in the packaging. But similar concept, just different characters. If they came out with Braveheart, I think I would die. They just need to make a whole bunch more cousin merchandise. The only official like cousin cousin merchandise we've gotten was the world's smallest and then like some apparel from Hot Topic, but that's about it. We haven't gotten much Braveheart or any cousin as of the most recent generation, even though it literally takes place in the Forest of Feelings and they brought back no hard and beastly, but they have not brought back the cousins, which I think is just offensive to my culture at this point. My culture being just Care Bears. Um, so these are the two we're not opening. Cheer bear and share. Cheer bear and share. So now I have something that Marcus of Comfort Cartoons also owns. And I cannot be happier as my collecting inspiration. One more time. It's turned off. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff like this, I plan on posting a lot more Care Bears in the near future. So hit that subscribe button to give yourself a little bit of good luck. And my socials are in the description below. And much like us trying to find a gosh darn screwdriver. Do your best.